All right, for today's shop walk, we're going to give you a little bit of an extended tour and show you what's happening here at Iconic Motorbikes. Clearly, our lounge has come a long way. We get uh, new bikes coming through all the time. We got the pool tables all set up. We've got the fridge for our guests to use. The Bomoda H2 just arrived a little while ago. And uh, can I start this one up, Nathan? Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. We call this our fire breathing dragon. If it's not warmed up yet, so we can't do it, but uh, enough throttle when you back off, it shoots a flame out. It's actually quite cool. <laughs> Fantastic sound. This one has a baffle in it when it first comes in, but it's got this big long bolt that they just want you to pull it out. So right away, Ricky went at it and pulled that out. Over this way, we have uh, a Roland Sands Harley, all custom done. So just food for thought. We not only do the, uh, the newer bikes or the exotics, but we also handle just about anything with two wheels. This beautiful bike's on the auction site right now. All done up. Most interesting thing about this bike that really grasps me, what do they call it? A sp what's the noise? Uh, Sproder. Spro Sproder, right? So it's a sprocket and a rotor all combined in one. So if you haven't seen one of those before, there you go. Doesn't seem like uh, something that took off very well because I never actually see him anywhere. But moving on, Desmo Sedici. This is the one I've been riding a bit. She also fires right up. Let's get a little bit of sound going on this one as well. Been riding this one more and more. It's got the rusty paint scheme, obviously. Has the, uh, these come with two exhausts. They come with a regular exhaust and a race exhaust. This one has a race exhaust. That's why it sounds that way. Anyway, moving on, let's show you some more things. Beautiful RC30. This one's going to the auction site in the next couple days. So you'll see this one uh, up for grabs. Show you what Nathan's working on. Nathan has a classic R7, which is also known as an OW02. Actually, let me do it better, these lights. And by coincidence, uh, Abby is actually over in Atlanta. Where is he at Atlanta, right? Yeah, uh, Motorsports. Yeah, what is Porto Land? There you go. So he's actually test riding and uh, testing the new R7. So I'm not going to compare the two because I don't know much about the new one, but I can tell you right now, this is one of my favorite Yamahas of all time. I've been riding this one more and more and uh, become quite attached to it. So anyway, let's continue our shop walk. We have about 310 bikes in here today. We have probably 20 some odd bikes in the other hangar. And as of today, somewhere about 45 to 50 bikes in transit. So always changing. Service guy, this is Scott and Cam acting like they're doing something. Probably both, <laughs> probably, yeah, you're not on the phone with anybody? Is that funny, you're just faking, fake calling? Steve, what do you got going on today? Oh, getting this put, put back together again. So this is a ZX7RR. The double R has the flat slide carburetors, but and this year they had, ran a steel tank, still has the flat slide carburetors, um, but adjustable swing arm, a little bit more adjustable on adjustability on the suspension. This one came to us from Japan. It uh, wasn't as nice as I hoped it was going to be, but now we've got all the paintwork done. We had Brian over at BKM, sorted it all out. Came out really nice, didn't it? Looks good. Looks good? Are we almost done with it? All we're waiting for is tires, and we'll get this one in the auction site pretty soon. So, another homologated bike. You like that word. What, homologated? homologated. <laughs> I do like that word. Uh, this is Ollie Station. Ollie is actually over at Westby Racing and uh, helping them with their race efforts. So, he'll be gone for the next, what, week or so? Yeah, a little over a week. Yep, a little over a week. So, this will be like this for the next uh, couple, couple uh, videos. This here is where Josh is at. Josh is new, our new mechanic, and he starts in the next week, I believe. Comes on, coming to us from American Honda. Also has a background over at Graves, much like uh, Ollie, and uh, pretty strong resume. So we're excited about him coming on board. Angel has got two really cool, iconic Ducatis, right? So we've got a 996R. This one sold to another country. It's getting exported, so we'll keep it at that. Came to us from South Africa. We're going through it, sorting it all out. She almost done? Uh, yeah. Couple, couple of loose ends. The battery getting charged up and everything, and you know, she should be good to go. All right, perfect. One of the rarer of the nine of the Ducatis. This is a 1299 FE with uh, Panigale R bodywork. 
It also sold, this one's going to India. So we're going through uh, doing some final refinements, getting a little bit of white glove service, mm -hmm. getting it all cleaned up, dialed in, and crated up, right? Yeah. All right, thank mm -hmm. you, Angel. And over here, we got Daniel. Daniel is uh, finished up the virus. We were hoping to have this one done already. Waiting on tires. Waiting on tires. That's the last thing we're waiting for in that one. And this is a really rare white ELR. And in fact, I didn't even know they had a white ELR until this one showed up. So came in from South Africa, also pre-sold. What else you got going on this one? Uh, just finishing it up. Uh, just did the forks, uh, new chain, the tires on it, had to clean the carbs, uh, flush the tank, new seals on the tank, bunch of stuff. Yeah, there you have it. Perfect. Good. We'll get this one done soon. Other than that, one quick tour of what's going on here at Iconic. Things are always changing. Bikes are always coming in. You know, as much as I get sad for one leaving, three or four come in and right afterwards. So getting kind of used to it. Quite the inventory, huh, Nathan? Yeah. There you have it. So that's it for the shop walk today. Thank you so much. We'll, uh, we'll show you more about what's going on next time we see you. Thank you.